the morning walk and today we're going to start with supporting learning. I generally have all my online lessons at the start of the week. This is so teachers can tell us information and instructions on the work they have set. I think it's Friday as a day for me to catch up on work I've missed or not finished, so I don't have to do anything over the weekend and can relax. Uploaded some work, snack time. So now we have geography and we're learning about compasses. I miss the interaction that we get in school, so most days I will FaceTime my best friend who is in the same class as me. We can help each other with questions and work. This really helps. Geography just finished, next is PE and we're doing a cardio workout. Because of the cold season and wet days, we normally don't get out much, so even going on a 10 minute walk will really help you to concentrate more and reset your mind. Here's my lunch. So we just finished our lunch and now we're doing maths and we're learning about scatter graphs. Sometimes it gets really boring and challenging, but we have to hope that we see each other again soon. We're ending with English. Taking some time away from screens every day is really important. For example, go and read a book or a magazine or even play a game of cards. I found interacting with my little brother helps me to have a little bit of fun every single day. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been useful. nine o'clock so that means it's time for me to log on my computer and start you know doing the online learning my mum likes to do a thing called friday disco with her online class because my mum's a teacher yeah during french i mean i'm not complaining i like seal green French. Finished. When I've just finished the subject, I like to focus my eyes on something out the distance, out of my window, because it's not good to stare at a screen two inches from your face. It's good to relax your eyes from time to time. Well, that's engineering science finished. We had to do a PowerPoint about a Scottish engineer. Anyway, it's break now. At break time, I quite like to have a packet of crisps and a juice carton. Because it's break time and I'm in my own house, I like to watch the TV at break. And I can't do that at school. So that's one plus about online learning. Well, the break's now over. It's now time for maths. Great. Actually can't wait till the holidays. Yeah. The next lesson's chemistry, and chemistry usually do live lessons. I much prefer the live lessons because the teacher's actually talking to us, and we say our answers either in using the microphone button or in the chat function. It's much better than just here you go, here's some work, do that, because the teacher's actually teaching us. Well, that, that's chemistry finished. So now it's lunch. And I want to go outside for lunch because I haven't been outside all day. And it's good to get a breath of fresh air and just to go a walk.
back from the walk, as you saw the route there. So, it's time to have lunch. It's time to have lunch and watch an episode of The Office. Because what else do you do in lunchtime? Pfft, study? Pfft. Lunch is over. Oh. But I ate a mango, so that was nice. So now it's time for religious studies. Well, I finished RV, so that means it's PE. I can't be in PE because I'm in my house. So to compensate for not being at school doing PE, I usually run a mile or two, you know, to keep active. Because that's what PE's all about. Two miles and I'm exhausted. I'm off to get changed. Well, there you have it. There's a day in the life of my online learning. And boy, I can't wait to go back to the schools when they open.